For USCfootball.com, I'm Michelle Phelan reporting from the Coliseum where USC just defeated Oregon State 42-36. to Let's go inside the locker room to go talk to the defense. You guys escaped with a win tonight. How are you feeling right now? I feel really good. You know, the uh, defense put on a good put a good game together and the offense was rolling, so we feel pretty good about this win. Feeling good, you know. Close game. But we came out with a W, so that's all that matters. I guess anytime you give up 36 points, you know, uh, it's going to be a tough critique. We'll see on Monday, uh, you know, the, the things that we did well and, you know, obviously the things we didn't do so well. Um, I mean, you just got to get a lot of credit to the offense today. They play their butts off and um, – uh, a lot of credit to Oregon State's offense. What was the biggest challenge that their offense brought tonight? Um, actually, the, the tight end, number 87, I forget his name, he had a really good game. He was catching passes on us and running, driving down the field, and we were surprised about that. They really worked our perimeters really well, and uh, we, we schemed all week for their inside run game, which they killed us in uh, last year. Um, we stopped it pretty well, and uh, you know the uh, Jaquiz was out for a couple series, and you know they started throwing the ball, started uh, handing the ball off on the fly sweeps, getting the ball out to the boundary, um, which was tough for us. And you know the little little things on the pass game, obviously not getting a whole bunch of turnovers, and you know the penalties, and you know same old stuff. So, uh, like I said, take a look at the film on Monday, and uh, you know we'll fix it. Basically, making our tackles, they were doing a lot of you know those little. Um reverses to the wide receivers, little dump passes, a lot of um, screens. So basically just tackling those little Rodgers. <laughs> what was the biggest problem with the Rodgers brothers? Um, I was surprised how uh, how quick Jacquez was. Sometimes I thought, you know, I had him contained, and he just bounced around to the outside. So he definitely had some speed on him. I think we held them down pretty good, you know, except for that, for a few explosive runs they had. But all together, I think we held them at bay pretty good. Rodgers brothers, you know, we knew that they were going to show up. Um, Jacquez, I believe, got hurt in the first half came back out second half and just put it to us a little bit. In the second half, was it almost like a different team? Um, I wouldn't say that. I'd just say that they uh, they had some good play calling and they were executing on us. So, you know, they had a lot more opportunities to make plays downfield. Yeah, it was, it was a different team. They, they came they came back and they, they fired on us. And uh, luckily we came out with a W. Seems like the quarterback had a lot of time back there. Um, they were doing a lot, of, a lot of like quick passes and stuff. So the line would do pressures, you know what I'm saying? We really couldn't get back there that fast, but I mean, it, he had a good game. They had a good plan, game plan, and they just came out and ran it, so good game. They were really working the uh, quick game a whole lot. Mm-hmm. They didn't do a whole lot of five-step, seven-step seven step drops, um, you know, so I mean, it, it might have looked like he wasn't um, getting a whole lot of pressure. I mean, we got a couple sacks, but, uh, you know, like I said, it was just a little just rinky-dink things that just kind of killed us. Does that mean that the secondary has to step up that much more? Oh, yeah, yeah. We just got, you know, play tighter coverage, a lot of those in routes, you know, those time routes are kind of hard to guard. You kind of really got to get your hands on the receivers and throw them off. It's parents weekend. Are your parents here? They came to the game, but they weren't, you know, walking around campus or anything like that. Do you have any plans with them? Oh, yeah, I'm just going to go hang out with them right now and uh, probably have some dinner, and then they're going to hit the road and go back to Oxnard. (laughs) Yeah, they did make it out um, all the way from Dallas, Texas, and I'm happy to have them here. See me, got me a sack today. Should have had a sack and a half if they counted it right, but yeah. So you think it should have been a second and a half? Yeah, I, I believe I got a second and a half. We'll, we'll check it out and see what happens. You guys have Oregon next week. Is that going to be the biggest challenge yet? I guess so, yeah. They they, they showed up after the, boys, after the Boise State lost. They've been killing people. And we're going to come out, you know, and play hard. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. You know, Every week in the Pac-10, you never know what's going to happen. And, um, you know, that was a pretty tough game there tonight. So, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to scheme them up the best we can and, and practice hard and just keep pushing on. I'm not sure if it's going to be the toughest team we face, but we're definitely going to have some challenges with that spread offense. They got some really good athletes, especially from the quarterback position. So, you know, we just got to contain them and uh, stick to those receivers and make plays. Oregon, yeah, they're going to be a, a big challenge. You know, I don't think we've won to Oregon in three years of this. So we're going to go up there. You know, we're going to work hard this week and uh, try to get that win. Signing out from the Coliseum, I'm Michelle Phelan. Check out uscfootball.com for more.